good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Catfish Combat with Joel. It's a beautiful early February day that the Lord has made today. Uh, yeah, getting back out on the Tennessee River, going to do some catfishing. Uh, it's a pretty familiar situation that I've seen all winter. Got a lot of water moving right now. Uh, they're cranking water at the dam. They're pushing about 87,000, whatever the measurement is. It's, it's 87,000, which is a lot. Uh, it's going to basically move this water pretty quick so what that's going to do for uh for the catfishing is it's going to push them up in the breaks and areas where um, they can congregate and stay out of the current so i'm looking particularly for spots where there's a finger or some type of extension that's going to cause a current break and i'm looking for something that has deep water in it or uh structures like down trees now uh, with these conditions, I've only got in this area about, I would say, about three or four options. Uh, with the time I got, it's about 140 right now. I'm only going to fish probably about three spots. going to give them about 30, 45 minutes. Uh, it's, I'll give this until about dinner time, and I'll head on home. Uh, weather conditions for today, so it's a little bit warmer. Uh, last week it was raining almost all week is in the low 40s and uh, so that's the reason the waters they're, they're pushing so much water we're in about the third day of a warm front right now so highs about 63 which is about what it is right now uh, water temperature is 46 on top and the creeks it's like 49 50 degrees so that's where you're going to find a lot of the shad um, some of the shad are trapped or bait fish are also trapped up in these current breaks as well wind is very very mild it's only about three four miles an hour out of the east and then um yeah, the uh, atmospheric pressure is about 30.24. It's a little higher just because it's sunny. So we're on day three of that warm front. So that should hopefully uh, get some get some active fish moving here. Hopefully they'll, they'll want to eat. As I did come through, as a familiar spot. Again, I, I don't have that many spots I can fish in this area due to these conditions. But uh, as I came through here, there's a lot of gar feeding right now. And I saw a lot of catfish on some humps and some areas on the bottom. Uh, they're, they seem to be sitting at about 27 to 28 feet. Uh, anything beyond 30 was getting bare and anything shallower than 25 I wasn't seeing a whole lot so that's where I'm going to start okay as far as bait goes I got a couple of big gizzard shads it, it was work at the marina they were spread out I was only getting one or two at a time so I got a big old gizzard shad I got three decent sized ones I got a bunch of thread fins uh, and then yeah I think I have a smaller gizzard in here now those are all thread fins so yeah I'll I'll have to cut up my bait to cut some kind of smaller pieces that doesn't mean i'm not going to catch big fish sometimes they prefer smaller smaller baits just depends on uh, what they're in the mood for but i gotta use the bait sparingly that's all i got for today so yeah let's get them out there okay so here's how i got my baits cut up i took that really big shad i'm using a big head section big body section took a thread fin i usually cut that when i get smaller shad like this i usually cut the tail off i uh, just let it bleed out a little bit cut a thread fin in half and then a really really small thread fin so yeah again bait's a little scarce but uh Work with what I got. Okay, also for my setup. So on rod one, I got that little uh, thread fin shad with the tail cut off. Uh, rod two, thread fin half. Rod three, I threw that one a little closer. Also, also how I'm doing the smattering here. So I threw that one a little bit on the kind of the shallower patch right there. This one I threw long, kind of towards that tree. Three, I dropped pretty much underneath me, right behind me in my wake. Uh, that's the big chunk of shad. Hopefully I gets a lot of scent going out. And then number four, that is a whole thread fin with the tail cut off is a little bit of a bigger one. And then five has that shad head. Uh, so yeah, I'm kind of where there's a deep trough right here. It gets a, there's some humps back there. So I'm just kind of letting all that soak in and uh, drift back there towards the uh, towards the humps and the trees. Oh, look at one, one that we're getting nibbled on. All right, yeah, see if we can get some fish.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I got him. This is a good fish. That big shad head. He's pecking it for a while. <laughs> Decided to crank down on him. Wow. I'm barely moving him. This might be a really good fish, man. It might just be that current though too. Yeah, he was nibbling on it, nibbling on it. Well, I decided to crank down on him. After guy picked up the rod and I could feel him. I could feel him just tugging on it a little bit. He's coming to the surface already. Let's see what he is. Ooh, he's got a little bit of weight to him. Oh, that's a big flathead, man. That's a nice flathead. I'm dragging him on the surface, though. Oh, I need to get him away from that other line. Crap, he crossed it. Oh man, he's a strong fish. <laughs> All right, now we got my musical rods. I gotta drag him across the the current here. That's a pretty nice flat. It might be about 20 pound fish. He came straight to the top. Right off the end there. That big shad head. Well, he might not be as big as I thought. Let's see. Ow. Oh, yeah, he's not as big as I thought. He's probably 15. He just feels heavy in that current. Alright, looks like I got him hooked pretty good. Actually, he might be 20. Let's see. I'll, I'll weigh him. Darn it. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's, hold on. I got issues here, man, I'm all tangled up. He's already opening his mouth. I think he's cold and a little lethargic. I'm just gonna grip him in. Let's pull him in here. I mean, that's the first fish of the day. It's a nice fish. I don't gotta complain. Come here, dude. I'll get you in, get you a glamour. Yeah, yeah, those are decent fish. That's definitely more than 15. All right. Well, not a, not a monster, but it's a good size. Uh, make sure we're on pounds. We are on pounds. And what you weighing in at, Bubba? Yep, yeah, 21. It's about 21 and a half. So. That's pretty flathead. I'll take it. Yep. Yeah. Alrighty, let's go let him go. You don't seem super energetic. Let's get you back in that water there, man. Let's see. Let's get you all fired up here in that cold water. You give me a ride, dude. All right, let go, let go, let go. There he goes. Oh, don't hit the boat. All right, let's go get another one. My neck kept hitting my, uh, my trim tab. I got him. Probably another flathead. Taking it just like the other one, just a little nibble. This is on the other big piece of shad body section. I think it's a huge fish. Let's see. I don't trust any of it right now because of the current. It's hard to judge. I mean, he feels like a decent, got a decent weight to him, but yeah. This is a big piece of bait. Let's see what we got here. Dragging him up. Same spot. They're right on that current break. They're sitting actually in about almost 40 feet of water. Let's see. I got so much current in here, I didn't even have to put out a rear anchor. I don't know. Hear that reel? <laughs> Hear that fishing line going? Let's see. This might be a better fish than I thought. Let's see. 
He's hanging right behind the boat there. Behind that current. Drag him up here. Where you at, dude? What you doing? This might be about the same size, maybe a little bit bigger than the last one. Let's see. Yeah, it's a good flathead. Look at he's trying to dive. That big old flat tail. Yeah, it's almost the same. That might be a hair bigger. It looks almost exactly the same size. I think the clippers. I'll just bring him in. This one's a little more lively though. Yeah, this one's a little more lively than the last one. Yeah. He's got some fuss in him. You know what? I'm gonna net him. He's actually he's got a bit of a temper. All righty. Come here, fishy. See what you got. Head first. Oh. Yeah, I got him. All right, let's get him in here. All right. Open up the bale. Let's get him in. Uh. All right. That's a decent fish. He's got a big old head. Yeah. Let's see where I got him? Right in the corner of the mouth again. They're doing these light little taps. They chew on it for a while. And then they slowly start to take it down. Alrighty. That's a nice pretty fish. Anybody thinks these things are scavengers, man? Look at this fish. Look at that, the beautiful brown camouflage. Just like a mud bottom, they can hide. They got these real rough tooth patches here used for clamping and grabbing on. Look at that gullet, man. All right, poundage, what do we got? And he is, I can't see. Uh, just a, yeah, he's like 21 on the dot. So he's actually just a hair lighter than the other one. Oh, really good fish. Yeah. Let me get an image of that. All right. Pretty fish. All right, let's get him back in the water. Get him revived. Oh, oh, stop you. Oh, he, he wants to go. He's, he's done. He didn't need to revive him. Yeah, there he goes. All right, let's go get another one. Yeah, last fish. I was just about to pack up. I was actually just about to film my uh, my exit here. This feels like a decent fish. It's gonna be the last fish of the day here. I guess I gotta head in. He feels okay. It's not huge. Like maybe, it was more like a blue cat hit. Yeah, that very violent takedown. Cause all the flatheads have been real chewing on it. Real slow kind of chewing on it type bites. And I've been here for a while too. This is a 45 minute soak before I finally got a fish. It was a while, let's see what we got here. 45 minute soak before I finally got a fish. It was a while, let's see what we got Actually a flathead. Hey, front camera there. My uh, my chest camera died. <laughs> my battery. So I'll try to talk loud so y'all can hear. It's a flathead. Yeah, another one. Not a real big one. Smaller than the, la the other two. Probably like a ten pounder maybe. Let's get him in here. Yeah, I got him hooked pretty good. I'm gonna scare him and pull him in. A dark fish. All right. Chest camera battery replaced here. All right, y'all got me. Yeah, I had to replace the battery there. <laughs> My battery died at right as the fight started. Uh, yeah, the front camera got it. Yeah, it's a, it's a probably about 10 pound flathead there. So yeah, I was just getting my stick. I was gonna film my exit here, and whoop, that thing went right down. 
It's an aggressive strike too. So that was on a uh, thread fin shad. So I put two thread fins. I, you guys have seen me do that before. I hooked two in there uh, through the head. So it's kind of the necklace of shad is what I call it. Cause that's what it looks like when you put them on the hooks. Let's get him unhooked. Get him a little front shot. I need the pliers. Get him a little front shot and be on my way here. So all flatheads today. No blues. That's fun. I like flatties. They don't get as big as blues, but they're a real pretty fish. So look at that. Sun, they come in different colors too. This one's like a little darker than the other ones. Yeah, they all have kind of their own little variation, their own little shade. How strong they are. They're curling up there. See how his, his belly's all muddy? That's because he's been sitting on the mud bottom for a while. So he's probably just been riding out this cold front. But all right, we'll let him go. Let him go get bigger. All right, buddy. Laters. All right, so that's going to wrap us up for this episode of Catfish Combat. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. So not an amazing day, um, but for only a few hours I was able to fish out here. I mean, got three flatheads. I'll take it. That's that's not bad. These kind of conditions are really tough to fish. They, they just are. Uh, when you get a lot of current on a river like this, it just tends to scatter fish. It just messes everything up. makes it really hard to pattern them. But again, if you kind of follow some basic guidelines, which is find current breaks, find areas where there's structure, you might not get a ton of fish or you might not get high numbers, but you can still catch fish. And that's generally the only place where you're going to catch fish. Um, I mean, if you try any other normal spots, there's really fast current and your normal honey holes, you might not get anything. So I've got my spots labeled on this river where I go for, for conditions like this. Um, unfortunately, my last three videos have all been really high current days. This has been the days I've been able to go out. So you guys might start seeing the same spots over and over again. That's why I do it. Uh, or that's why I've been doing it, I should say. Yeah. If you guys like this video, uh, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. Remember, uh, you hit that subscribe button. It's a low effort task. I greatly appreciate it. Keeps me motivated. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments. Or uh, if you want to give any encouragement, that's great. Uh, yeah, so yeah, stay on mission for Jesus. God bless. Take care. And hope to see you all out on the water.